first upgradable skin, Miss K, which was available only on the Chinese server for a limited time during the KFC crossover event, where you could get a B tier skin for free. And to upgrade that skin, you had to get an actual KFC meal. Yes, an actual KFC meal that provided you with a code that you were able to redeem in the game to get a limited token. And with that token, you were able to upgrade Miss K to Lady K, which by the way, I think is one of the coolest crossover ideas that I've ever seen. Like, come on, you had to get an actual KFC meal to upgrade your in-game skin. How cool is that? To the eight Persona 5 crossover skins, which were also only obtainable during the crossover event, and while you were opening up essences to get the A or even S tier skins, you were also able to collect Soul of Resistance tokens. Well, you actually needed 30 tokens just to upgrade or awaken one of the skins. Which was a pretty cool thing to do, because the upgrade animations were crazy. And you can also switch back, which means you're basically owning two skins in one. And moving on to the upgradable accessory from the Denkan Rumpa crossover, the GAR26's Mono Mono Machine, which was as a BT accessory obtainable for free as long as you played during the event. And you were able to upgrade the accessory to an A tier, S tier and even to the so far only SS tier accessory by simply paying Echoes. Well, just paying Echoes to upgrade the accessory wasn't really the coolest way to introduce the first SS tier accessory, but it definitely has a crazy Denkanrampa rocket chair effect if you did so. And now we are about to get another upgradable skin and I have to tell you, I am excited because I think the idea of upgradable skins is really cool and unique and Identity 5 should bring more of them. Okay, 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 let's get back to the new upgradable skin. The Autumn Letter event will feature a B tier skin for the post man called Autumn Maple Uniform. This skin, along with some other items like an A tier accessory, a red maple carpet furniture piece, portraits and portrait frames will be obtainable for free. But we are talking about upgradable skins. So let's go back to the B tier skin because the B tier skin for the postman can be upgraded to an A tier skin with tokens. Similar to the Denkan Romper accessory, these tokens are simply bought by using 580 Echoes. After upgrading the skin, you can still use both versions of the skin, the B tier and the A tier version. So again, it's kind of a two-in-one skin that the postman is getting. I personally think this is absolutely great because the event offers a lot of free items for players and if you want to upgrade the skin to an A tier skin, it only costs you 580 echoes, when a normal A tier skin usually costs at least twice as much. And again, if you don't want to upgrade it, you still get the B tier version of the skin for free. So what are your thoughts on upgradable skins? Let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to hear it. And of course, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a fat like. And if you're new, subscribe to The Gaming Grizzly. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!